Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about why place it there. We work a lot with our room forms on the website. You can go to the homepage, acousticfields.com, upper left-hand corner, and you see a tab that says Room Analysis. That's the starting point for all our processes. It asks about your room. You can include up to six pictures. It's very important to provide as much accurate information as you can about your room. Every time I see the pictures, and I see uh, things that are out of place and shouldn't be there, I always ask, why do you put it there? And here's some of the comments. The first one, because I keep track of all this stuff. I, I'm really a data person when it comes to uh, talking to people because, you know, everybody thinks they're so unique. Everybody thinks their room is unique. You're not. I can show you data where you're just like a lot of other people, okay? I know we all like to feel unique in this world, but we're not. You know, statistically, we're in groups. So looks cool, had space to fill, or I had extra units. Th that, those are the three most common comments that I see when I ask, why did you put that unit, that absorber, that diffuser, whatever it is, in that particular position within your room? Those are the three responses. There's others. One of them is they don't know why. That's just as scary, right? So the room, need, the room needs to dictate the treatment. The type, amount, and the position, tap, where you put treatment, what kind you put, and how much you put, is all determined by the room needs, okay? Room needs dictate the treatment. Every surface area has a different frequency and amplitude issue. So you have to define the problem first before you start assigning treatment. Treatment is a tactic. You have to have a strategy. Putting tactics without a strategy, you can't, you know, you can't do things like that. You have to know why you're doing things. You have to know what particular treatment technology is going to work for that particular problem. Each wall produces a different issue. You must match the treatment response to the room response in that room area. Okay? Low frequency management, 50 to 65% surface area coverage. These are general guidelines, so you get a feel for what you're up against. Our, our uh, ACDA units are five foot tall. They're five foot tall for a reason, because most of them go in eight foot ceiling heights. So five, eight, you can see 50 to 65% surface area coverage. This, these numbers come from years and years and years of experience doing this, okay? So there, we just don't pull these things out of, out of thin air, right? Middle frequency management, 65% coverage. We do churches, a lot of churches, a lot of reverberation in these large rooms. It's just the way physics works. Now, it may vary 5%, 10% here or there, depending on the rate level of absorption of that particular treatment type. But these are good general ballpark numbers. Some walls may have a 40 hertz issue. Other may have 90 are you going to use the same treatment at 40 as you're going to use at 90? This could probably be done with foam. This can definitely not be done with foam. So right there, there's two big differences. So you got to think about this stuff. You must manage the frequency of issue with the treatment. I see a lot of problems in this area. You know, people think foam <laughs> is the cure-all for everything. I, I can't believe it. Foam stops garbage truck noise. Did you know that? Foam does this, foam does that. It does nothing, basically. It's a middle and high frequency management technology. It's lightweight, it's economical, it has a good function. We have, the, to me, the world's finest uh, absorption curve on foam technology in, in any product. Go to our website in the About section and look at those curves. We compare it to the competition. You can't beat us from 125 to 500. You just can't. Complicated process. Like I said, you have to develop a strategy. You need to start with the room form on our website. That room analysis tab, top left corner, will get you started. Then you send it in. Then follow the software's instructions and schedule a 15-minute free consultation to speak with me about it. We're very slammed in our scheduling. You know, this week we have 40 appointments. So that'll give you an idea how much in demand this free service is. That's why I have to limit it to 15 minutes. So please be prepared. Fill out the room form. Send in your information. Follow the electronic 
software and schedule the appointment. But please be prepared. Have the website up and running because it's a problem solution paradigm. You're sending information. It's like you go to the doctor, you're not feeling well, he's gonna give you a blood test. Well, this is your acoustic blood test. Our room form is your acoustic blood test. Fill out the information, schedule the software, please keep the appointment. You're gonna receive three text alerts and I think one or two email alerts. I can't believe the people that aren't prepared when they make the call. Please be prepared. If you're not, I'm gonna to have to simply move on to the other call. We're that busy with this process. It's a free service and I simply can't play. If you're not up to the task, I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to reschedule for another day. But with the room form, you can include up to six pictures. A picture is worth a thousand words. It tells me space availability for treatment. It tells me what you've done and you may be causing the problem yourself. So it tells me a lot of information. So please include the pictures. We've just increased it from four to six pics that you can attach. So stand in the middle of the room, take a picture of front wall, rear wall, side walls, floor and ceiling. There's your six. That will go a long way to, to, and then tell me your objectives and your goals in the comments section. Put yourself in my position. I'm, I'm running through 12, 14 of these a day. So the better data you can give me, the better answer I can give you. So be careful. Why place it there? Make sure you have a strategy. Make sure you know why you're doing what you're doing. It's very important. Or you'll just make things worse. Why place it there? Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.